you guys, my name is Natalie Gonzalez. I'm from Laredo, Texas, and I attend United High School. For our second engineering design challenge, I decided to do Ship the Chip. My final product ended up being a Ziploc bag filled with cotton and inside would be the Pringle chip. This ended up weighing 0 0.008 kilograms and the Pringle was 100% intact. This gave me a shipping score of 12,500. I hope you enjoy watching the videos and thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm opening my package, which is a plastic bag, and I filled it with air to add more cushion, and then I added rolled up toilet paper on the sides of the bag, and then I have this, which is another plastic bag wrapped in toilet paper, and then another plastic bag it's filled with cotton balls and I'm unwrapping that and then we have my fragile tortilla chip completely still intact Hello WEP staff, WEP crew, and fellow camp peers. My name is Maritza Miranda and I attend Liberty High School in Liberty, Texas. The engineering design challenge that I decided to go with was the ship the chip challenge. And the reason for that is I've already done the other two um, challenges so I decided to go with something new and not be redundant. And the shipping a uh, score that I got was a 95 and let me show you how I got it. Boom! Five pound weight. Now it's time for the drops. Last but not least, tossing. Let's see if the chip is intact. Go away, so this is gonna be hard. Let's see my anatomy. Uh oh. I'm not gonna eat it because it's like, I don't know how old. Hello, UT Web staff. My name is Nicole Garcia. I live in Houston, Texas, and I go to Cypress Woods High School. So the story for my design was that it came from an old movie that I was watching. It was in black and white, so I could tell you how old it was. Um, and I was very interested in how strong um, the wooden crates old wooden crates were and so I I had an idea I thought I wonder how strong they actually are the wooden crates the structure of the wooden crates are without the walls so what I did was I used craft sticks and cut out little pieces so that they could form joints that would fit in into each other like puzzle pieces and once that was built I put my chip inside cotton cotton balls so it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't uh, crack
because of how fragile it is and i put all that in a plastic bag so of course the the small object wouldn't fall out when it was being tossed around uh dropped and of course it wouldn't be crushed so uh the first first time about my experiment it collapsed and the reason why was because the joints i realized were a bit too um they weren't reinforced so what i used was yarn like uh, going back to the idea of the crates and i made the x shape of the crates and that definitely helped it went from really uh, the structure went from bending to um, standing upright and the what the yarn does is reinforce the joints and now in the experiment i did instead of holding five pounds it holds 16 pounds so i think we did very well so now i will show you the experiment hello so for my shipping package i used um craft sticks, yarn, a plastic baggie, and cotton balls. And inside all of that is the fragile chip. So the point of this experiment or invention is to um, make sure that the package withstands everything a normal um, box with, would withstand using less amount of materials and trying to make it cheaper, I guess. So we are going to test this with three experiments. One is going to be putting six pounds of weight on top of the package. Another one will be dropping it six times, six feet. And the third one will be tossing it 10 times, 10 feet. Okay, so let's start with the first one. Four pounds, yay. Two pounds, that's six pounds. It's good. Ooh. Withstanding. Okay, so for the toss, toss and like break for here. I will do the last experiment that is uh, dropping it six times six feet. So now break? we will see if it's fine and if the chip made it okay. without um, being uh, broken. So I will cut open the package like a customer would with FedEx, taking a little chip out. And I think it is fine. And so. The chip is intact, fragile, it's a little fragile, it's fine. So it has passed all the tests, oh. yay. So for fun, I wanted to see, or I want to see how, um, how strong the package really is. And I know that the instructions or the minimum requirement is six pounds, but I wanna see how many pounds until this package finally, or until the box, finally breaks. So I have extra boxes or extra books I'll, and I'll stack it on top until it breaks and the maximum with all the books combined is 15 um, pounds. So this is, like we said, this is six. <clears throat> this is two pounds. Like, yeah, two pounds. So then we have eight pounds. Four more pounds. <laughs> So it's 10? No, 8 plus 4 is 12. Ah, 12. Yes. And then 4 more pounds. 16. 16 pounds. And we still haven't broke. We still haven't broke. So I, I think see we have tested. Should I see it on there? <laughs> no. I think we have tested. It's good. Very good. Very resistant. Congratulations, Nicole. Congratulations.